Hi everybody, my name is Rahel and I'm part of the Audacious Church Central Manchester campus. I usually serve in the response team, Alpha as well as Creative. So the theme of today's devotional is Jesus is my protector. I'm going to be sharing a little bit of my story of how Jesus has always protected me and guide me wherever I'm going, like literally. So I'm going to be reading a verse that goes from Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 that says, Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. This verse really resonates with me and it is one of my favorites because I always feel God's protection surrounds me everywhere I go. So I'm originally from Indonesia, but I have been living abroad for a good few years now. Being very far away from, from my family and from my friends would sometimes make me feel uneasy and worried, especially every time I need to settle in a new place or in a new city where I don't necessarily know anybody. I would feel like this because um, it's just because I feel like I'm so far away from my safe place, so far away from home. However, throughout all of these situations, I always feel God's protection again around me. And I felt that through all of the people that God had put um, in my life. Um, an example is when I first arrived in a new city, in this airport, in Montpellier city in France to continue my journey as a student abroad. I was feeling so anxious because when I first arrived there, I felt like I didn't know anybody. And first of all, I couldn't really speak the language fluently. And another thing that was making me anxious is just that I didn't know how to get from the airport to my student dormitory. Thank God though, I met a person at the airport and that he had shown me the way to go from the airport to my student dormitory. But I found out later on that this person was actually working for the campus that I was supposed to be studying in and that it was his job to pick up students from the airport and then to show the way from the airport to their own respective dormitories. I didn't know that this would happen the first time that I flew from Indonesia. Um, so I was all the time feeling very anxious, but right there when I arrived and then when I met this person, um, God really showed me that um, he is always with me whenever, wherever I'm going. And after that, when I arrived at the student dormitory, there was another student who was already um, standing by the door as if he was waiting for me. And, and that he helped me with all of the registration processes and then, he even helped me to carry out two of my luggages. It was very big and heavy. So I felt really relieved that I met this student. On that day when I felt very far away from home, very insecure, I was surprised that everything went, everything turned out to be very smoothly. Everything ran very smoothly as if it was already planned or as if it was already organized. By someone and right there again God taught me not to worry because he goes with me there is another time when I have to move to another city for an internship so at that time I didn't really find an accommodation or a room to stay in that new city but somehow I met this girl at a restaurant and then she she offered to help by asking some of her friends who were living in the new city that I was supposed to do my internship in if I could stay with them if they have a spare room and then at the end I ended up staying with these girls in the new city um, for like two days before I was able to find my own accommodation so you see I didn't know all of these people but they happened to turn up at exactly this, the, the right time that I needed the most and what I'm always in awe of is that I am I was always safe that I'm always safe and protected even if I'm far away from home so I would like to close this reflection by sharing another one of my favorite verses from Matthew that says from Matthew 28 verses 20b that says and surely I'm with you always 
to the very end of the age. This is to encourage all of you who are living away from your family and friends to not be anxious or scared because we have a God that goes with us wherever we go. So there you go. Have a lovely day. God bless. Bye-bye.